We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. Hello, you. Welcome back. As I have dribble coming down my nose. Look at this. That's the Appalachian Trail. 2,190 miles from Georgia to Maine and we are over 400 miles into this journey and I don't want it to end head good, body good, feet good, heart good all good let's go woke up next to this river this morning gonna head into town the town is called Hampton no idea what to expect it looks pretty small on the map all we need is some food and some food maybe some food and some coffee <laughs> that's all we think about out here where are we gonna get food where are we gonna get some coffee let's go get some food This town is called Hampton, small town in the mountains in Tennessee. And I would say this is the first town that we've come to on the Appalachian Trail, which has felt authentic, like a real small country town. And it has everything one could need for our daily life. There's a Dollar General down the road, there's a post office, there's lots of supermarkets, there's fast food. You know, everything you could want or need. I see my compatriots just walk on past a place like this without a blink of an eye, but me being an international visitor, I get a real kick out of seeing places like this. I've always wanted to eat in a diner like this. Real country folk. Very exciting. I like all of them. So do you have preference? Um, Tabasco. Tabasco. Tabasco will work. And another milk. How would you rate that out of 10? 9 out of 10. Oh. It's very good. Especially the cup. Makes your hand look really big. This is maybe like one gas station. Yeah, you Only one place you can go for gas. London. One as well. Gerard Butler. Gerard. Is he Australian? English. You were close. I was close. Yeah, the other side of the world. But. Two eggs, sunny side up, two sausage patties, biscuit, I think that's butter, hash brown. What's your strategy with the shopping? Make a list um, and try not to buy too much, even though you know you're going to eat everything that you buy. <laughs> and do you have a favorite trail food? A favorite trail food? Um, fudge rounds and peanut butter. Currently, it's my favorite.
there we go from one tourist attraction to the next I was listening to an interview with John Moriarty, the philosopher, author from Kerry. He passed away some years ago. An extraordinary man, really gifted when it comes to speaking and storytelling. And he talked about how back in the 1960s he quit his job as a professor in Canada, moved back to Ireland and went to live in the wilds of Connemara by himself and he said his reason to quit his job as a professor was because he didn't believe in the world in which he was living so the way society was run the society which bounded his way of life he didn't believe in it and so why therefore is he training teaching young minds how to be successful in a world that he himself does not believe in Right, so he went off to live in Connemara and when asked about this process he said that he feels as though when he's living among society in the modern busy world he is like a potted plant and if you look at a potted plant the roots grow down and down and down until they hit the bottom of the pot and then they grow up and back into themselves and he felt as though that is what happens to him when he is living a bounded life let's say and so when he's out in the wild he is no longer in the pot he's out in nature and free to grow in any way and as much as he wants or as much as he can and I really relate to that before I heard him say this I was thinking something along the same lines even though I was unable to explain it in the way that he did They say that 10% of people who attempt a true hike of the Appalachian Trail each year decide to call it a day at Neil's Gap Mountain Crossing. And this, if you'll remember, is mile 30 of the Appalachian Trail. Whereas now, as we approach the state of Virginia, 
We are about to cross mile 470. It's still early days on a trek which takes six months to complete. The total length of this trail is 2,190 miles. But what I would say, the real achievement for me is not these milestones. The achievement is being here now. Ram Das called it a long time ago and so did many more before him. Be here now. The achievement or the goal is not to get somewhere. The achievement is getting there. The achievement is the walking. Right now, the walk itself. Head good, body good, feet good, heart good, all good. Let's keep going.